Today I'm speaking with Dr. Edmund Chen, one of the founding fathers of longevity and anti-aging medicine. Dr. Chen's practice is based in Palm Springs. He received his training at the University of Southern California Medical Center in Rehabilitation Medicine. There he learned the importance of hormone balancing during these rehabilitation years, when after replacing hormones in patients with damaged glands, he could see tremendous differences in their recoveries. Dr. Chen is the first doctor in the United States to use growth hormone on adults clinically and to advocate the balance of all bioidentical hormones that affect aging. Welcome, Dr. Chen. Thank you for having me. Everyone ideally would like to stay young and healthy really for as long as they can, but of course at a certain point age, as they say, catches up with us. I saw you on Trinity Broadcasting Network on a show where you were talking about how to remain young and healthy even in your later years. The human process takes each and every one of us on an incredible journey. You begin in your mid-twenties with a young, powerful body, and you can hardly imagine being in any other state than youth. But over time, uh, this one sturdy, sturdy body slowly grows old. Uh, your body continues to change each year, increasing your chances of death. I'm a Christian. The Bible says your body is your temple. As I explained in the TBN show, there are ways to live a better life and to avoid the aging process. All right, well, let's take a look. Your body, the, this body, is the temple. That yes. Holy Spirit lives in it. Yes, it does. And we forget that message all the time. Okay. We spend money on making ourselves beautiful, young, haircuts, cosmetics, then houses, then cars, mm -hmm. yes. and clothes. If I ask you how much money last year you spent on checking your temple, most answers are, well, is it covered by insurance? If it's not, I won't. Mm. Well, let me just answer that for us. I don't know that we had a checkup, and the only time we kind of ever go to the doctor, and I don't even remember last year if we did, you did. it would only you be your... because, uh, oh, it was a couple of, of years pain? ago. Yeah, because of, of, of a sickness <laughs> or something breaks, like that. You or wait till invested. it breaks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. wrong. When you get a disease, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, heart attack, you say, why God? And I speak for God to you. You didn't check my temple. Mm. Wow. That's why I let it break. Mm. You let it break. Wow. You disappointed me. Now you come to me and ask me for help. Wow. Mm. Since yeah. when you spend money on it to yeah. check me out, yeah. check my temple out. It was leaking, you didn't care. Wow. You know? Yeah. You're the, passionate about this, aren't yes. you? Yes. You know, it's interesting. We have scheduled maintenance. You know, my son has a Honda Ridgeline car, <laughs> and it has scheduled maintenance. Mm -hmm. And the little thing starts beeping on the dashboard. <laughs> you know, uh, time right. for service, yeah. time for service. And you, you get that, and you think about scheduled maintenance on your car, but you don't think about scheduled maintenance. And you're no. saying that we need to check our hormones, why? Because this year, God has spoken again. Okay. Through the Nobel Prize. This year's Nobel Prize in medicine was given to the field of telomere, and I'll explain later what it is. Okay. Telomerase, okay. I'll explain later what it is. And what controls telomerase and telomere? Hormones. That's the first I've ever heard of the telomere. The discovery of the telomere that portion of the human DNA that controls lifespan in our cells give us the hope that we can slow down the aging process. The enzyme telomerase, which keeps the telomere of our DNA long and healthy, is capable of giving human cells immortality. Now, scientists have discovered that hormones to be the only substance to activate the telomerase. It's no wonder that bioidentical hormone supplementation has been so successful in improving age-related diseases and in reversing biological age. And it all starts at the cellular level. We need to let the public know the significance of Nobel Prize 2009 in medicine. Okay. The prize was given in medicine 2009 to three scientists who proved to the whole world that human cells, not organs, not human bodies, the total human being, but just cells, human cells, your human cells, can be made to live eternally. That's very, very significant. Because the next step 
is the organ. And the next step is the human total body. How did the scientists make the cells live forever? Because the structure telomere in our DNA controls the longevity of the cell. When the telomere at the end of the DNA is very short, the cell gets old. When it's gone, the cell dies. What is telomere in another layman's way of explaining it? It's like a shoelace tip. With the tip, the shoelace lasts longer, isn't it? And it gives the longevity. And that's exactly the function of telomere. Telomerase is like the engineer to the telomere. In fact, that's why it's given that word. It's an RNA molecule, it's just a little molecule that every day is sleeping. It wakes up to repair the tip by injecting telomerase through virus and another bacteria. They are able to introduce telomerase into the cell of the single cell structure, and that cell goes on and on and on and on. This telomerase listens to what? What, what is the order? What's the email? What is the email that we're giving it to the telomerase? The hormones. The email hits your telomerase and tell your telomerase, wake up, buddy, work. So when your hormones are optimum, your emails are optimum. So please check your hormones yearly. Interesting. I don't think most people give hormones much thought when it comes to maintaining your health. You have to keep your hormone levels optimum. That's so important. We age because the hormone levels drop. We know that maintaining hormone levels can prevent age-related diseases and turn back our biological age, thereby increasing our health span and life expectancy. Most of all, it improves our quality of life by bringing our hormone levels up to those of a young adult. In one TV interview, I saw you talked about an animal that ages differently than humans. The hormone levels in the seagulls stay optimum throughout their lives. In other words, they don't go through the age-related diseases like we do at all. When their time is up, they fall into the ocean. All right, let's take a look at that interview. Do we have a mammal or an animal that's, that has a telomere that's, that's not shortened in the lifespan? Yes, the seagull. The old seagull com competes with the young ones on the ocean for fish. You know, the nature could not have designed a seagull that has arthritis or stroke or heart attack and therefore cannot partially disabled and cannot compete with the young ones for fish. So the nature had to design for a seagull that has a lifespan, or more important, a health span that's as full as the lifespan. Until the last day, he drops in the ocean and dies. Okay, so yes, the seagull's telomere is not shortened throughout their lifespan. So my goal in life is to make myself and imitate the seagull so that my, the tip of the shoelace, the telomere on my, tel on my DNA stays long till the last day on this planet. What a life those seagulls have, I have no idea. It's true. I really want to live each and every day like that seagull until it's my time to go. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's ideas like that that make you so original. You've always been a little bit of a renegade. You could say that. Is it true that you were arrested by the federal government for using growth hormone in adults when it was only approved for children? Yes, it's true. I explained it best on the TVN show. All right, let's take a look at that clip. Here's uh, Dr. Chin's book, Age Reversal, um, From Hormones to telomeres. Yes. And this book you did was published in 1998. That's you right. were ahead of the curve by some 11 10 years, or 11 at years. Least. And least. now, real quickly, the Red Sea opened for this kind of study when you decided it was more important to continue your studies when the federal government said you could not do hormone therapies to adults. So just explain that briefly and then we'll get right back into the importance of hormones. Okay. Hormones back then is something doctors ignore. Okay. Unless you have a problem with thyroid hormone, diabetes, or, men post or menopause, mm. okay. then you would check. And you're those... talking the 90s or the 80s, the, 90s. Yes, the 80s, 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 80s. But then I already know that all the hormones should be looked at, should be checked, and there's a particular hormone that that the scientists at the 
the, the, this field found out that growth hormone, the human growth hormone, is the most powerful hormone to lengthen the telomere. Gotcha. Hmm. The shoelace tip. The tip right, of the, the shoelace. shoelace. <laughs> okay, right. that's right. the most powerful. Right. In 1994, the federal law says he, the physician, whoever prescribes, dispenses human growth hormone to an adult, right. to an adult. Mm -hmm. Children allowed, mm -hmm. <laughs> but adult is guilty of felony, punishable by f five years in prison and two hundred fifty thousand dollars per count. Wow, nineteen ninety four. That mm -hmm. law is still in the books, not okay. repealed because no legislature, the Congress had not repealed it. Mm -hmm. So that's what the stumbling block. That's the Red Sea. That's the that's the uh, that's the river I cannot cross. Back it's, in the mid nineties, you decided to do what? It, it the mid nineties, I decided to. Shall we say, forget about the law okay. and violated it, okay, with the intention of being the, knowing the first person that would be persecuted. Gotcha. And hopefully win the persecution. Then, stare decisis, U.S. law is a case law country. That means that once a federal judge overthrows a law, that law is invalid, even though it's in a book. Gotcha. And that's what I decided to do in 1994, and I was arrested for it. I was charged seven counts in an indictment, and those indictments were dismissed in nine months. Wow. Wow. And that was your Red Sea, really, yep. for this entire type right. of treatment and this exactly. entire research for telomeres, hormones, and basically age reversing. That is an amazing story. I bet that experience really gave you an extra kind of burst of motivation to keep you doing what you're doing. Absolutely. It was a harrowing experience to be arrested. But everything happens for a reason. I stood my ground and the entire case was dismissed. Now other doctors in California can legally give growth hormone to adults, just like I did. Do you know how many other doctors in the U.S. are doing what you do, that is optimizing one's own hormones to fight age-related diseases? At last count, there are over 2,000 doctors in the U.S. today doing that. But still, many people don't know anything about bioidentical hormone therapy or about telomeres. It's my job to explain it to the world. There are 12 hormones, there are hundreds of hormones, but there are 12 that are vital. It's like the roof, the refrigerator, the air conditioning system, and the toilet system, okay? gotcha. the plumbing. Mm -hmm. And when those fail, your house don't work. Gotcha. So you've got to check those systems every year. Okay. Check these hormones every year and make sure they're working, humming along. Give us the names of these important 12 ones. The, the, the human 12. growth hormone I mentioned. Okay. Okay. The testosterone for men, okay. definitely. Yep. The progesterone and estrogen for women, okay. definitely. The definitely. thyroid, thyroid, definitely. Mm -hmm. The insulin, insulin. definitely. Insulin is Insul a hormone. Yes, I insulin didn't even know is a that. hormone. Yeah. Now, let me explain what hormone is. Most people don't even know what a hormone is. Okay, I don't. Yeah, Go ahead. a hormone is simply a letter. Okay, it's a letter, the Greek word for letter. Letter secreted by a gland telling another organ what to do. Call it an email, call it a fax. Wow. So next time I say hormone, you say fax. Good. Next time I say hormone, you say email. Good. Okay. Next time I say hormone, you say letter. Good. Same thing. It's okay. a letter. A message. It's Sending a message. letter, protein letter, that one organ sends and another organ says, work. Okay. Yes. How many of the hormones in our body uh, start decreasing? Twelve of them. Okay. So that's about. why you talk about the twelve important yes, ones. The important ones. The we other we continue to create at the same level. There's twelve that diminish. Right. Is and insulin one of them? Yes, yes. That's why diabetes and yes, all of this. Yes, and diabetes can be diagnosed or the likelihood of getting diabetes 10, 15, 20 years before it happens. How would somebody go and get their hormones checked? I'm not even sure how to do this. You should say, Doc, give me a prescription to check my hormones, my 12 important you hormones. You need that from a doctor? You need a prescription, yes. Okay. Just to check. Just to check? So, yes, just to check. Hmm. check. Okay, and, and then... And then what do you do once you get a then prescription? Then you take that little piece of paper, uh -huh. go into any lab, any hospital, and you say, here are, draw my blood, here I am, draw my blood. They'll draw your blood, two tubes, and boom, in two weeks, all the values come out. The hospitals and the labs are, are even smart enough to give you the reference values. You'll see what a 20-year-old has, you see what a 60-year-old has, okay. and you say to yourself, oops, I'm out of the range, 
like a 60 year old, I'm only 20, I'm out of six. Disease, disease, alarm, your plumbing stop, stopped working, you gotta replace that, okay? Oh, wow. If you're in somewhere in between, okay, it's rusted, it's not flushing well, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, it, 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 you know exactly where you stand. And you say, okay, this year I don't have money, next year, when I have money, what, how much is toilet, toilet uh, flush cost? Well, 25 bucks, I don't have that 25 bucks. This year I'll do it, I see. I'll replace it. See, you have the choice to decide when to, to fix that problem. You used to specialize in another medical field, right? Yes, I was a rehabilitation medicine specialist. What made you change to your current field? The goal of the specialty of rehabilitation medicine is to bring a medically or physically disabled person to his optimum functional target. Using male hormone to rehabilitate a castrated male or a female hormone to rehabilitate a female who had her ovaries removed was my job. In doing that, I saw the power of hormones and how in one day, they can change a person 100%. So I decided to subspecialize. Instead of doing general rehabilitation medicine, I specialize in hormone rehabilitation and telomere lengthening. When you first started moving in this direction, you yes. had had uh, a bad heart, age 40. Yes, yes. And why did you stop as a doctor? You were a cardiologist. Why did you stop the traditional route? Because the tra traditional route actually treats a person when the person is sick, when, when, when the cell is diseased and aged, we call it, mm -hmm. okay? And, and, and I want to be proactive. I want to prevent, and, and I, want, I want to be able to tell, oh, I am close to getting sick now. I want to be able to look at my heart cells and look at the telomere. Oh, it's so short, and I'm lucky. Let's do something about it, mm -hmm. lengthen it, exercise, eat properly. I want to be able to look at the pancreatic cell, look at the telomere, how long it is. Oh, it's so short. I'm lucky. I don't have diabetes yet, but let me do something about it. I want to prevent these diseases mm -hmm. from coming on to me. Mm -hmm. So that was why the, that's why the traditional medicine was, was not adequate. So what you promote is hormone supplementation. Can you talk about what that consists of, how you got started? In 1994, I started to supplement all the hormones that decline with age. We leave alone all the hormones that don't decline with age. We supplement those declining hormones to the optimum levels of those of a 20 year old. Between 1994 and 1999, we treated over 1,000 patients and we published our results with Dr. Leon Terry of the Medical College of Wisconsin in the fall of 1999 in the issue of Journal of Advancement in Medicine. Subsequently, I discovered that multiple sclerosis and coronary artery blockages can also be cured by supplementing growth hormone and other deficient hormones. As a result, I received three United States patents for discoveries in medicine. I did the research in the 80s and I found, I discovered finally mm. the, 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 the discovery, yeah. which the US government gave me a patent, the British government g g gave me a patent, which is why you heard about me in Europe, and China gave me a patent, and I think that's enough for these three governments to recognize right. that this is a scientific discovery, that this is yes. real. And the discovery was very simple that if we were to replace our bioidentical hormones in our body to our 20-year-old level, we don't get the age-related diseases and we can't even cure them if you have it already. Wow. And yeah. that is what, it's that simple. From then, now you hear Susan Summers talking about it, you yes. hear a lot of other doctors, and there are yeah. thousands of doctors are practicing in this country on bioidentical hormone supplementation, mm -hmm. supplementation to your 20-year-old level. Bioidentical. How is that different from uh, synthetic? So, uh, synthetic hormones are actually chemicals and drugs that okay. the, the pharmaceutical companies make to, to, to treat diseases, treat cancers. They are not bioidentical, meaning they, we don't make those hormones in our body. Any hormones that our bodies don't make, don't take them because they'll you cause cancer. Mm. Yeah. Now, you have been practicing in uh, hormone supplementation for like uh, almost, what, 15, 20 years now? Yes, I was the first in the United States to use human growth hormone to activate the telomerase. At that time, 
uh, wasn't proven yet. Yes. Uh, today, it's proven. Uh, it's proven that yes, the human growth hormone, how does it work? Why, why does everybody take you? Why do the athletes do that? Or why do the actors and celebrities do that? They do that to activate the telomerase, which in turn keep the telomere long, mm. the shoelace tip long. As long as the shoelace tip long, they will live longer and stay healthy longer. And you were the first to do this. I was the first in the United States to do that. I think that deserves a hand clap everywhere, yeah. yeah. My. Okay, so what should someone do before he or she starts supplementing hormones? First, one must check the levels of the hormones in one's body and see if any is deficient. So what can people expect to get after they supplement all their hormones to their optimal levels? By supplementing all the deficient hormones and growth hormone, one can slow down the aging process, eliminate the age-related diseases, extend health span, and by extending health span, the lifespan will also be extended too. That's what this is all about. I explain that best in another one of my interviews. All right, let's take a look at that. We need to extend our functional life. Yes. Most of the time we spend 30 years going to school, suffering, working hard, get to where we are now. We spend another 20 years, if lucky, sometimes 30, and it's over. Mm -hmm. We did not have enough time to rip the 30 years of investment that we put in. Mm -hmm. I want to see 60 years of enjoyment, 90 years of enjoyment of the 30 years that we invested in oh. to save lives, to, to do what we do, to do whatever God has put you on this earth to do. Yes. And do it even better. Yes. And on the last minute, go just like a seagull. Oh. That's, oh. that's what I want. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yes. now see, that's a totally different vision than thinking of the end as sitting on a bedpan in a nursing home Absolutely. And, and spending three years and not knowing where you are. Absolutely. And you have this vital information, and yet I'm sure to most people they think, what is this? Because my doctor tells me nothing about it. I I've got to tell them a testimony. When I first went to you, uh, my cholesterol had just started to go high. Uh, and... Uh, you said, I want to give you some bioidentical hormones. And I never will forget, my wife's a medical technologist, she thought, I don't know if this information is good or not. Dr. Chen said to me, now, while you're on this, I want you to eat some French fries, drink some milkshakes, have some hamburgers, cheeseburgers. I thought, man, I like this doctor a whole lot. <laughs> That's what I've been looking for. And he said, you're actually going to find that your cholesterol drops. And I thought, wow, could this be? Now, he said, I don't want you having a steady diet of it every day, but if you want to do it two or three times a week, I want you to do this. And he said, watch when you take your blood test. Uh, six months later, we took the blood test. Cholesterol was down to 180. Right. And uh, blood pressure was normal and below. Yes. And I thought, wow, this, you made a believer yes. out of me. When you were 20, did you avoid hamburgers, pastas, <laughs> butter, bread, wine, maybe a few LSD in our times? <laughs> huh? I'm not going to go there. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did everything. Yeah. No problem. No collateral problem. Here we can come 60, 50, 60. Oh, don't eat this. Don't eat that. Don't eat this. And still... It comes up. Yes. Why? Why? Because the hormones, the hormones were down. Mm. We develop age-related diseases because the decline in bioidentical hormones, mm. not the reverse. Mm. Not that we get old and the hormones decline. It, the declining on the hormone is the causation. Uh, of the age. Of the aging yeah. and the diseases with it. Mm. The hypertension, the diabetes, the, 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 the cholesterol, the, all you name it. You mentioned something very profound in that last clip, something that really isn't talked about when we think of aging. You said the declining of biological hormones is the causation of aging. Is that really true? Yes. We used to think it's normal to have declining hormones, not knowing that low or deficient hormones cause diseases. The best examples are female hormones, estrogen and progesterone. 
Doctors used to think it's normal to have menopause, but menopause causes all kinds of diseases. Now we restore the estrogen and progesterone levels in these women to those of an 18-year-old. When we do that, we find the associated diseases go away. The way you say it, Dr. Chen, it really doesn't sound very complicated. It really is not. It's a simple thing, but a profound message, as we'll see in this next clip. I believe there's going to be a change, uh, yes. a, a revolution to take place because more and more patients are getting whole. And I've uh, seen your institute and 80, 90 year old people walk yes. in there who are jogging five, six miles a day. They have a love life again with their wife. Uh, suddenly the whole world looks brighter to them. That's right. So I say, amen. <laughs> Do it. You're the kind of prophet we want. Yeah. <laughs> and I, oh, I'm just giving you a message. I, I just want you to know, simple as that. Check your hormones. Yes. And, and write your doctor instead of asking your doctor. Write them. Yeah. You know. And your doctor, your orthopedic doctor, he says, I belong to this camp. Yeah. Unfortunately, his camp is very big. Yes. Lots and lots of them don't believe in the hormones. The, when, the time you mention hormones, they say, oh, athletes. Yes. You know what? I have this to say about athletes. The athletes are not dumb. Yes. The fact that they use testosterone and growth hormone because it works. Yes. They overdose it, that's all. Yeah. They're too greedy. <laughs> when you have money, you want more money. Yeah. You know, they want more to win over somebody. That is not right. Yeah. That's the, what the government is all about. Oh, okay. Is the unfair edge. All I do is what the athletes do too. Oh, yes. Except I hit the physiologic target. Mm. Stop. I want to reiterate, there's a reason why athletes use growth hormone. Because it works. Now let me say this, all the risks associated with supplementing hormones are always associated with one, overdose, two, using non-bioidentical hormones, which are really drugs. In competition, sure, it's an unfair advantage, but in life, we want that advantage. We want to be healthy, we want to keep our body, our temple, as fit as it can be, like a 20-year-old's. You know, the amazing thing, now, yeah. you've been doing this personally yes. uh, for yourself yes. for some 20 years, and you're 85 years old. Isn't it amazing? No, I, I no, no, no. <laughs> but, no, but it's amazing. You're 65 years old, and you... you could, 60. 60, okay. You, you told me 65 last time. No, no. Uh, you could pass for 40. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's amazing. It works. Yes, it works, definitely. And God's saying glorify the Holy Spirit yes. in your body. Yes. Now, a lot of people are sick in the body of Christ. Yes. Every week we have people come forward with needs, the elders anoint with oil. Yes. There are great crusades. Yes. We have uh, nationally, uh, Benny Hinn is a name where yes. a lot of people have gathered for prayer and received healings. But I'm sure along with my friend Oral Roberts and as well as the Benny Hinn Ministries, they would probably say that a lot of our sickness is self-induced. Absolutely. Because we don't take care of the temple. Absolutely. And, and now God, I think, has given us another warning, another message through Nobel Price Committee, yeah. telling us, hey, pay attention. You know, pay attention. You guys have found the fountain of youth. Yeah. You, you, you know, my children, you have found it. Thank you for taking the time to sit with us, Dr. Chen. I know you're a busy man, especially now that you've added stem cell therapy to your practice to fight aging. It's my pleasure. I'm simply the messenger to get the word out about this amazing discovery. You owe it to yourself to remain young and healthy so you live long enough to make the most of the knowledge, the experience, and the wealth that you've gained over the last 40, 50 years. What we do is to help you get those extra years and that ability to enjoy what you have earned. Thank you again for sharing your expertise with us. And if you'd like to learn more about this fascinating subject, you can go to Dr. Chen's website at www.drchen.com. <laughs>